Many of us have been learning this new technique devised by Gerlinde Lenz. Um, it's a lovely technique which lends itself to many patterns, uh, necklaces, bangles, bracelets. And one of the questions that pops up all the time is how do we join the ends to make one continuous bangle? So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. I've made um, a tube here with single seam. You can also do this with a double column seam, but um, I'll show you with a single one for now. In order to join your bangle, you need to make sure that your seams are in line with each other so they can make one continual seam here. If you don't work enough of your tube, it will be turning round here and you'll find you'll have to twist round to join. It won't join very well, you may have a twist further on down here because it doesn't naturally want to go in that position. So make sure you've worked enough in order for the seams to join together at this point. If you don't work enough, you can always work a few more rows or take a few rows away, but you'll need to make sure that they meet together. The first thing you need to do is join the two seams. So your two end beads here will join together. My thread is coming out of this top bead, so I'm going to pop it into this other seam bead on the other side to join them. I'm going to go back through this one to reinforce it because I need a nice tight join there. And what we need to do is to fill in the gap around the back here, we're going to peyote. You can either go up this side or you can go down this side, but whichever side you choose you will be filling in this gap, so whichever um, works more comfortably for you. But you will be turning back and forth as you work anyway. I filled my tube, by the way, with some kumahimo that I made um, a couple of years ago, actually. It's come in handy. You can also use oxygen tubing, or um, faux suede, or cord, um, whichever you prefer, really. It's all personal choice. So I've joined that there. I'm actually going to go back through this one to reinforce it again. And then I'm going to start coming down this side here. Now if I turn it round, you'll see that when you normally come down a seam, you would have placed your last bead in this row and gone down the seam, turned round and gone up. I'm already in this position, so I'm going to just go up into the bead. so that I work up this side. Making sure that my seam is nice and tight there. I'm just going to turn it around so it's easier to work with. Now I've done that bit. Right, so we're going to peyote down. And you'll be wondering why when you're just working on one side, it does actually close both sides. But it's quite magic really because you've got both seams joined now, so you aren't just working on one side of the bangle, you're working on both, both ends at the same time. Because you've come down from one seam, and down this end, you'll be meeting the seam of the other end. So you're incorporating both ends. Coming down here, of course when you've got a bangle you have to keep going in and out. So we've come down to the seam here and as you normally would pop your bead on, go down to the seam I tend to go down two beads because I think it makes it a little bit tighter, personal preference. And then you'll place it. Back up to start again. So you turned around and now you're making your way back up the same side. Always work on the same side to build it up. I 
think I may have to come through here. It's tricky with a bangle. Okay. Do that. And now we're coming up to this side again. the seam turn round remember which side you're working on so this time we're using the bead here the seam here go up through the bead at your last place like you would normally and carry on again and you'll continue to do this I won't show you all of it because my camera only records <laughs> about eight minutes so I'm going to continue going up all the way up to this seam all the way back down to this seam and I'll get to a certain point where we need to close and I'll come back to you in part two okay and I'll see you in a minute